all the glory. Glory, glory. 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 Jesus, bless it. From the rising of the sun, from the rising, the gold, Jesus is Jesus, stay right there. Jesus, come on, let's call him. Jesus, Jesus, blessed Savior, blessed. He's worthy. live in a building not made by hand is anybody with me this morning amen. amen amen and then we talked about to praise him Jesus blessed Savior because he is worthy to be praised so it's 9 a.m. and it's time to praise the Lord it is time to worship him so as we sang last week don't you wait because it might be too late. Today, it's time to praise the Lord. Amen? So let's give up a praise clap as you stand this morning for our call to worship. Lenten travelers, why are you here? Lenten travelers, what happens when we gather to worship? Lenten travelers, how do we do the work of worship? Lenten travelers, what work does God do in worship? God raises us up so that we can delight in life together with God and one another. Lenten travelers, come, let us worship God together. Come, let us worship God together. Amen. We're going to remain standing for our opening hymn, Love Lifted Me. Thank you. 
nothing else could help. Love lifted me. And so as we start to go into an attitude of prayer this morning, I want to ask if we just close our eyes for a moment as we are just in silence to thank God for yet another day. Father, we come once again just thanking you, Lord, for the miracle of life to be on this side of Zion. We thank you, Lord, that we're prayerfully here in our right minds, that our limbs may be hurting, Lord, but you still have allowed us to come here into service today. So, Lord, we come as the service is about nobody else but you as we come to worship and to praise your holy name. We ask, dear Lord, that you just bless each person that's here this morning from the back of the church to the pulpit. Touch them, Lord, and give them whatever they may need to just get through service today. Some may have come with heavy hearts. Some may have come just saying, Lord, I just thank you for another day. So, Lord, it's just all about you. We know there's troubles out here in this world, Lord. And we pray that you will help to solve all the wars that are going on. We, help, we hope, dear Lord, that you jump into this political arena. and prayerfully change some hearts there. Lord, we don't want the, the world to go back to what it used to be, where there should be a new thing happening each and every day. So Lord, we come this morning asking your forgiveness if we did arise this morning and we're so busy getting ourselves together that we may have not said thank you Jesus for this day touch our hearts touch our ears that will be ready to receive the word today be with the choir dear Lord as they sing the song of Zion you ask, we ask you dear Lord to be with pastor this morning for whatever message that you put on his heart today that we will receive it we will use it we will proclaim it as prayerfully it will be transforming to each and every one of us. Lord, help us to go out and to spread your holy word in this community as you have told us to go therefore and make disciples of Jesus Christ for the transformation of this world. We know that's not easy to do, but that is our job to do that. So we just ask, dear Lord, to have your Holy Spirit just to be with us in this service. That this service to be what you want it to be and not our own agendas. We thank you, Lord, because you have been so good. We thank you, dear Lord, for our families. We thank you, dear Lord, for our church family. We just come just to say thank you, Jesus. Lord, we'll always be mindful that all the glory belongs to nobody else but you. So just be with us as we know we're into the Lenten season, as we know we'll be talking about how you hung on the cross for each and every one of us. Let us do what's right. Let our hearts be calm this morning to truly, truly receive the word. In your holy name, we give you all the honor and the glory. We bless us this morning, we pray. In your name, amen. We are now going to ask the choir if they will come up and render a selection for us.
everybody. Is this mic on? Can y'all hear me? Oh, because I said good morning and nobody said nothing. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Oh, that's better. That's better. That's better. Amen. Amen. How are you guys doing today? Amen. Well, today is just another blessed day, right? Amen. Come on, y'all talk to me today. Amen. Song with the song say, I love to what? Praise. Come on, let's do that. Let's give God some praise. Where you at, Joe Bray? I was here. I had Brother John bring me to church one, 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 one day, one, one Sunday. And he said, Well, Pastor, we ain't getting there at 7 30 in the morning. You know that, right? <laughs> I said, I didn't come get up here at 7 30 this morning, got at this church for to sit around and not praise God today. Amen? Amen. 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 God is just good to us. We want to welcome those that are watching on our via our streaming components. Uh, we want you just to go in that chat room and just tell us where you're from. We've been seeing all, all the chats and all the uh, different people that are just saying different things in the room. And we appreciate uh, those guys that are listening and tuning in from all over uh, the country. And as a matter of fact, all over the world, we have people from Africa that are on our stream and everything. So we thank God for that. Amen. Amen. While you're in there, if you need prayer, you can just type in uh, pastor at buttonwoodumc.com or Yvonne at buttonwoodumc.com, and we will pray for you. If you want to be a part of this community called Buttonwood, you can be a part of this community. We have a virtual church also that you can be a part of. All you got to do is hit that email and let us know. Listen, greet somebody while you're online. Say hi to them in the chat. And while we're greeting somebody online, why don't we in the room just get up, and why don't you go hug somebody and tell them that you're so glad to see them on today? Amen. To greet somebody in Jesus' name. Tell them that you love them in Jesus' name. Everybody smile. What can you just love? What can you you everybody smile? He just love. trouble you come up here sit down back on this front row come on Mike you get up here Bill Bill get in your seat Bill get in your seat come on come on up here come on up here choir come on y'all y'all up here disrupting the service come on come on normal have a seat you you back you back all down I said go greet go greet somebody y'all don't greet everybody come on <laughs> I said somebody. Yeah, we all across the aisle, but that's great. That's great. It's good to listen. This is one loving church. Come on, y'all. That's 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 one thing. Well, give yourselves a hand clap for that. Amen. Amen. We're gonna go on the furthest of the service. Amen.
that was a little funny, guys. I said, okay, they didn't really listen to what he said. <laughs> but it's all good. It's all good. Because a lot of times we don't see each other until it comes to be Sunday morning. So you need those extra hugs, right? Amen, amen, amen. So truly it's so good to see everybody here in service this morning. We're so happy to see that Tiffany was able to come back and join us this morning in service. Amen, amen, amen. Um, just to briefly go through our announcements, uh, uh, Kim did tell me this morning of the sad passing of Senator Herman Holloway. So we definitely want to keep uh, that family lifted up in prayer as they start to make then plans for his homegoing service. Amen? Amen. 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 Please keep uh, in prayer again all those listed on our sick and shut-in for and, uh, Alex, Liddell, Bertha, Paula, Linda Copper. Um, and any, anybody else that I don't know, I'll please just keep each other in prayer. For announcements for uh, today, uh, the women will be meeting in reference to Women's Day. and We'll meet over on the, your right-hand side of the church. On Tuesday at 6 o'clock, which is not listed in your bulletin, will be our prayer service um, at 6 p.m. with Pastor. So we'll be sending out the Zoom link for that. And it will then be the same Zoom link for our 7 p.m. administrative board meeting. On this Saturday, then, it will be the rehearsal for the male choir at 10 o'clock. And I got a question. John, do you plan on being there? <laughs> we see John standing up. Uh-uh. We see John standing up every time with the male choir. I think he just need to come on out for rehearsal. <laughs> Amen. Yeah, he just need to come on out. <laughs> maybe one day maybe one day okay <laughs> um and also uh daylight believe it or not daylight savings time starts uh next sunday so please make adjustments on your uh your calendar and on your watches for next Sunday service. Amen? Amen. Amen. Uh, listed in your bulletin also is the uh, Holy Week uh, schedule that Pastor has. Uh, I just wanted to give you this so you can just kind of know some of the things that will be going on. Um, and we will also be talking more about that at the administrative board meeting. The Zoom link will be sent out to everyone in the church. The administrative board meetings are for everybody not just the leaders of the church, they're for everybody. So please, uh, if you are able, join in on Tuesday at 7 p.m. On the other side of that, then, is the Holy Week devotion with uh, Pastor Sean. Um, and again, it has the dates and the time, Monday through Thursday, uh, starting March 25th to the 28th um, at noon. So please do say these so you can know exactly what is going on during Holy Week. Amen? And then also listed in there is the uh, birthdays um, for the month of March and then on the other side will be our Holy Communion invitation once we are ready for that part of it. Okay. Uh, we don't have that one on there. Yeah, and Monday, Thursday, Pastor was just uh, mentioning that is listed on your um, Holy Week part of the service. Um, are there any announcements that I did not receive? Yet? Oh, I'm sorry, yes. And Gilbert would like to meet with the mission committee um, after service. I forgot to put it in there. I'm so sorry. Uh, is there any other thing else that I don't have? Okay, well, everybody looks good out here this morning. And I love it when we're singing, and uh, especially when I look back there at Kim, because Kim will start our rocking for us. But it's so good when we're singing that you are smiling and clapping as we're singing, because those words mean a lot. The words mean a lot that we're singing about, so uh, we're so glad that you uh, enjoy the singing. And we thank uh, Sister Kay right, for leading God. off that song this morning. Amen. Amen. <laughs> so now in the service, it says it's time of our offering where we're giving back a portion that has already been received to us by God. So we're going to ask uh, the ushers, they will come forth, and then I will do the prayer. Uh, and of course, again, you can give through a cash app, dollar sign button with UMC, 
or givelify.com. And we do thank those persons that are in service and online that, that always sow a seed into our service. And if you'll bow your heads for the prayer. Gracious God, all we have comes from you and has been given to us as stewards that we might live and love as your beloved children. As we bring our gifts this morning, we realize what a small portion they are compared to what you have given to us. As we have sought ways to find church ministry without raising our level of sacrifice, forgive us. There have been times when we unconsciously favored reaching those with more assets to give and overlook those who live and struggle with little, forgive us. Guide us in the path of repentance, we pray in Jesus' name, amen. Coming from the 19th chapter of Psalm, 19th of Psalm, and I will be uh, using the NIV version. And when you have found it, please say amen. amen. When you found it, please say amen. I only heard two people. Amen. Okay. Even if you didn't find it, just say amen. <laughs> Psalm 19. The heavens declare the glory of God. The skies proclaim the work of his hands. Day after day, they pour forth speech. Night after night, they reveal knowledge. They have no speech. They use no words. No sound is heard from them. 
yet their voice goes out into all the earth, their words to the ends of the world. In the heavens, God has pitched a tent for the sun. It is like a bridegroom coming out of his chamber, like a champion rejoicing to run his course. It rises at one end of the heavens and makes its circuit to the other. Nothing is deprived of its warmth. The law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul. The statutes of the Lord are trustworthy, making wise the simple. The precepts of the Lord are right, giving joy to the heart. The commands of the Lord are radiant, giving light to the eyes. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The decrees of the Lord are firm, and all of them are righteous. They are more precious than gold, than much pure gold. They are sweeter than honey, than honey from the honeycomb. By them your servant is warned, and keeping them there is great reward. But who can discern their own errors? Forgive my hidden faults. Keep your servant also from willful sins. May they not rule over me. Then I will be blameless, innocent of great transgression. So may these words of my mouth and this meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight, Lord, my rock and my redeemer. For this is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Amen. We now ask the choir to come forth again as their sermonic selection. Then we will hear, have the word coming from Pastor Sean.
sing this, ladies. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Do it again, ladies. Hallelujah. Making the choir here real quick with the congregation. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Next go round, man. You gonna sing that part? That song that we just did. Well, how's it going? Come on, you gonna sing a hallelujah, ladies? see him you might be talking about somebody else <laughs> but we talking about the God of all of our salvation amen? amen and because all glory and all honor and all power goes to him that means that no matter what state I find myself in he is with me amen, amen. I don't know about you y'all but I had an incredible week filled with trouble <laughs> and I don't know Everybody in here has had a week like that. Am I right or wrong? Come on, talk to me now. Am I the only one that, 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 that you know, you, when, when the alarm clock went off, you just, you just hit the snooze? Come on. Do I got to go to work today? Come on. I'm, I'm, come on, y'all. Y'all talk to me today. And, and, it, and, it, and it felt like, it felt like, it felt like sometimes in life you go through so much and it feels like just the world is on your shoulders. How many of you felt like that? And although I felt like this, I had to remember that I had a hope that is in Jesus. Y'all yeah. not hearing me today. Yeah. Amen. I had a hope that was in Jesus. And I had the time to reflect on a scripture uh, that I just want to dive into a little bit. That when you find yourself uh, in the storms of life, you can grab a hold of a word like this. It's very simple. Uh, John 16:33. it says, Where our Savior Jesus Christ, he declares this. You ready? He says, I have told you these things so that you may have peace in this world. You will have trouble, but take, take heart. I have overcome the world. Amen. You will have what? Trouble. No one is immune from what? Trouble. trouble. <laughs> uh, I don't care how much money you got, you're going to have some what? Trouble. trouble. I don't care how good you look, you're going to have some what? Trouble. I don't care what kind of car you drive, you're going to have what? Trouble. Everybody in life is open to what? Trouble. But I come to tell you today that trouble has its place in your life. Had it not been for trouble, some of you wouldn't have been in church today. Oh, y'all not hearing me. Because trouble brought you to what? The altar. I ain't got nobody talking. 
So here we, here we go. We've got three points that we're going to deal with today. Then we're going to get out of here. Amen? Amen. Point number one is just that, trouble. Oh, trouble. So we know that with trouble, we all have faith storms. We all have faith, faith trials. We all live in this world where we see the political landscape. I don't know what's going on, but I tell you what, it's, if it hasn't never been praying time, it's praying time now. Come on now. They got Trump sneakers now. Y'all see that? <laughs> All this foolishness. Come on, y'all. You, you, you hear me? The devil, he throws everything. Y'all want to sit there and talk while I'm up here? <laughs> My mic going, y'all. Y'all having a whole full out conversation, and I'm trying to get in this word. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. <laughs> I got them good, though, didn't you? <laughs> Here we go, y'all, really. <laughs> see, that's trouble, y'all. See what I'm saying? <laughs> but don't last that don't last so long. Amen. 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 The, devil, the devil, he tries to do everything that he got at us. He tries to do it in our finances. He tried to draw with struggles uh, with, with our sickness. Come on now. He tried, he tried broken relationships. We have so many different things that we deal with when it comes to trouble. I'm telling you, you name it, somebody has been there. That's why the Bible says that we should be all things to what? All people. Because guess what? Somebody in life has been through exactly what you're going through. Do you think that what you've been through is new? Because sometimes we get that in our, in our head that ain't nobody ever been through this. They don't understand. Oh, they understand. Somebody understands. You're going to find them, too. They understand exactly what you're going through. But guess what? Those troubles, they literally define who we are. Those troubles not only define us, but they also build the character that's in us. They build the personality that's in us. They make us who we are. Because now we know that that trouble that we had, we have to learn how to respond the right way. Come on now, y'all. Y'all hear me? I was challenged with a staff member at my job on this week. And the, the challenge was for me to get up in his stuff or for me to back down. <laughs> And, and 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 it got so bad I wasn't I was I was I I was talking nice and calm, you know. But it got but see when you when you speak calm sometimes people and they and they in the uproar, that makes them even a little little hotter. Yeah. Yeah. Got to the point where the person just told me, shut up. <laughs> hey, hey. And at that point, the shut up. The shut up rose up. <laughs> rose up trouble, yes. Rose up some trouble in me. I said, just, you know, keep it moving. And sometimes you got to learn how to tell people also in the midst of trouble that guess what? I'm not going to allow you to go on your level. So we find that those troubles, they define us. And what happens is, these things begin to try to break us down. But we are children of the Most High. And because I am a child of the Most High, my steps are ordered by God. And because my steps are ordered by God, he knew what was going to happen, when it was going to happen, and he knew that it was going to help me to get to my destiny. Everything that you have been through in life has been aligning you to get to your destiny. I got somebody to say amen on that. Amen. See, because I can have trouble in life, but I don't have to let trouble also to define who I am when it comes to my character. I let it pull out who I am. You understand what I'm trying to say to y'all? Trouble 
is that thing that we all have to go through. But one thing about trouble that you have to understand that in the midst of trouble, you got to find peace. Are y'all hearing me? I mean, I mean, how long uh, 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 is it for peace to be in our life? See, we have to understand that we have this chaotic world. But let me let you know that even though we have this chaotic world, we have all these things going on. The Bible says, let the peace of God that, pa- that passes what all understanding. They don't understand why we got peace in the midst of all the chaos. We got peace in the midst of chaos because of who we serve. We serve a risen Savior. That's all the world to me. Y'all hearing me on today? And because I serve that risen Savior, he gives me peace in the midst of the storm. Look at your neighbor and say, I got some peace on today. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so, so no matter what you go through in life, no matter how hard the storms may be, no matter what the devil brings your way, remember that the peace of God is with you at all times. Sometimes you got to get alone. Ah, <clears throat> sometimes you got to get away from the crowd. Listen, even Jesus had to get some peace. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all remember he got on that boat and went out there? I need, I need to get away from these people and go rest for a little while. Sometimes you got to get away from all the naysayers. Get away from all the people talking all the junk around you. Get away from somebody. Listen, get away from the people that don't got your answer. Because guess what? Guess what? In life, I tell you what, you could give me a lot of stuff. But listen, I, you better give me. I'm going to take my peace. I'd rather have peace than have all that other stuff in life. Come on, y'all. So we find that our Lord and Savior, when he, when we abide in him, when we, we surrender to his will, he, he, he wraps us up in his arms. And he not only wraps us up in his arms, he gives us that peace that surpasses all understanding. See, it's a peace that, that calms us during these raging storms that we go through. It's, it's, it's a peace that, 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 that steals us when we have anxiety because I don't know about you, sometimes I get a little anxious, I get a little anxiety. Everybody in here has anxiety before, but that God that we serve gives us peace when we have what? Anxiety. See, we have to understand that we cannot allow this, these storms in life to consume us. That peace is our anchor. That peace is our refuge. That peace, come on y'all here, is our strength. I'm going to say it again. That peace is our anchor. That, that, that When I'm talking about that peace, I'm talking about God. Listen, that, that peace is our refuge. That peace is not only our refuge, that peace is my source of strength. Oh, you are the strength of my life. You are the source of my life. So no matter what is going on, I pull from the strength that I had. Listen, you think that Superman had it? No, Christ got it. He had the strength that could go and break every chain that's going through, that we go through in our life. Y'all hear what I'm saying to y'all today? The peace of God that passes what? All understanding. They don't understand. How it looks like you're not going to make it, but you're still walking around smiling because the peace of God that passes, what? All understanding. Baby, you don't got to understand it because I serve a God that understands me and he is working on my behalf. Uh, Glory to God. So we have to understand. Matter of fact, let's give God a praise right there for that. Amen. So my first point is, we're going to have trouble. The second point is, the peace of God is surpassed our understanding that when we have trouble, he's there in the capacity as an anchor, our refuge, and our source of strength. 
The last thing is, the scripture says it, overcoming the world. Overcoming the world. Now this, my brothers and sisters, where it gets real good, this is where we can, we can shout. Come on now. <laughs> because Jesus didn't just come in this world and on this earth to walk, walk amongst us. He didn't just come to show us miracles. He didn't just come to, 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 to be another story that we can tell on Sunday mornings. No, he came to conquer, to defeat the darkness and to defeat the plagues of this world. Y'all think that this, this political landscape ain't a plague? It's a plague. <laughs> Hello, somebody. Through his death and resurrection, he literally broke the chains of sin and overcame what? The world. And guess what, ladies and gentlemen? That victory is also yours, yours. Come on, it's mine. That same victory is ours in Christ Jesus. Amen. Lord, have mercy. We are more than a conqueror. Come on now. I, 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 I. I, I win in every city. I tell people, even when I'm losing, I'm winning. Come on. Amen. I win because of who side I'm on. Yeah. Through Jesus Christ, we have that power, that authority. I, I taught a message on authority years ago. And uh, I, had to, I was up there preaching, y'all, and... Uh, I had to go to the bathroom so bad. <laughs> and that, that bathroom took authority over me. <laughs> and I, I was preaching. And y'all know Sister Sue that comes here? Sister Sue was a member of my old church, y'all. And uh, Sister Sue was one of my ministers. And I was thinking to myself, I said, I got to figure out how to get this mic to Sister Sue <laughs> to run to the bathroom. And I started talking about something. I said, Sister Sue, go and show y'all so and so. And I ran to the, I ran out, and Cindy was running with behind me. <laughs> and I got to the bathroom. And Sister Sue said, Your mic's still on, Pastor. about that story today. I said, how can I interject that in the sermon today? Because <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> we almost done here. So we have, <laughs> we have the power and authority, the anointing to rise above troubles. That was trouble, y'all. Y'all hear me? <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, I wish y'all got to know my wife. My wife was my ride or die. She took, she, she took that mic and said, "Whoa!" She ripped that, <laughs> she ripped that mic off of me so fast. Uh, Lord have mercy, and then laughed at me uh, all day that day. <laughs> so we have to remember that. The troubles that we have in life, they trample upon the enemy's schemes that he has set up for our lives. God has something set up for our lives. Don't you know the devil has something set up for your life also? You got to choose. What's, why do you think the Bible says, choose ye this day who you're going to serve? You got to choose. You have. Every last one of us have a choice who we going to serve. Come on, y'all. 
You decide if you're going to serve him or you're going to serve God. Come on now. Yeah. That's just simple. Like, and, no, and, and stop. And stop. And you know what? This, this, stop acting like it's a miserable life. Said, no, you, you enjoyed everything you did. Come on now. Come on now. Y'all, y'all, oh, y'all, y'all ain't saying, hey, I ain't got no more. They got quiet. You, because that's what we tell people. No, don't, don't tell people that. No, it's a, it's a better way to live over here. Come on now. You have, you, have, you have this hope that's in him now. You have, you have an understanding. Come on now. You have a peace of God. There is no peace in the other stuff. It's only peace in what him? In my closing, man, I got pages and notes here, but I, we have to remember that and embrace the trouble as an opportunity for growth, right? Not only that, God is refining us. He seeks his peace. And we have to also pull from that peace. For it can sustain us through every circumstance, every situation, and every fierce storm that comes in our life. Today, I want you to walk in confidence. Walk in confidence of his victory knowing that nothing in the world can defeat us when we have Jesus on our side. Amen. Oh, man. Amen. Now, I want you to know this on today before I close, that we as believers are set up to win in every situation. So this victory that I'm talking about is available to every last one of us. So I want us to praise God today just for that. All right, amen. amen. I want us to praise God today not only that, that, that we have this victory, but God has given us this uh, victory. Amen? amen. Let's give God a hand clap of praise. Because we serve a God who has overcome the world. Amen? Amen. Bow your heads with me. Father, we give you praise and give you glory today for all that you've done. We thank you because in spite of it all, you are still God. So we learn today that Trouble is going to come. We learned today that your peace surpasses all of our understanding. Not only did we learn that, we learned that we can overcome it. Because just as you over, have overcome this world, Father, you have given us that same victory within you. So thank you for the victory that you have given each and every one of us, Father. Thank you because even though we see storms come in our life, we know that you're with us. So if you desire prayer on today, the altar is open for prayer. If you desire to, to seek him today, because we all have some troubles in our life, I just want to touch and agree with you as you pray. Amen. Secondly, if you want to become a believer, nothing weird, spooky, or strange that happens We'll just pray with you. And the Bible says that you confess with your mouth and believe with your heart the Lord Jesus Christ that you shall be what? Saved. So we want to make sure that every name is written in the land's book of life on today so that you, when you transition, that you will transition on to glory. Come on now, y'all. To sit at the right hand of the Father. Last, if you're not a member of this church, you want to become a member of this church online, in the house. Listen, today is your day. Praise God. It's very simple. Well, we, we'll invite you into this, this house of worship. Amen. Amen.
Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I love to sing your praises. I'm so glad you my life. Lord, I lift your name on Just give up a praise clap of victory for this day. I just also wanted to kind of let us know about the communion cups. These are a little different from what we're used to. You'll see on one side, the top one, you'll lift up, you'll see your wafer, and then you will turn it on the other end, and that's where you lift it up to have the juice. Amen. If anyone has problems, just raise your hand so that the ushers can help you. Again, on one side is the wafer and then on the other end of it is how you open it then for the juice the blood that Jesus shed for me
worship a God of embodied love, the one who, the one who suffers with us, a God of abiding compassion on life's winding roads, a God who invites us all as we do this, as we confess together. Merciful God, there, there is, is so such much that causes us to stumble and fall. So, so much also our path and causes us to question your goodness. So, so much, much hurts and pain. pain. We, we are listening for you, O oh God, God, longing to hear from you. Small voice and pebbles and stones, rocks and boulders, and even in living stones that you have asked each of us to be. Our ears and our hearts are open to you now. Forgive us and renew us, O oh Lord. Worn, scattered hard, or broken, we are precious to God. We have received mercy, and we are God's people. We are God's people and proclaim God's goodness. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are forgiven. We call to mind the fullness of God's, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We call to mind the one who takes bread, gives thanks, and generously shares for all the world. A body broken, a life poured out with the loving hope of, of food, water, medicine, justice, and peace for all. We remember that on the night he gave himself up for us. Let us all say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us trespass as we may forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory. Amen. Amen. As you pull back your receptor, this is the body of our Lord Jesus Christ. You may now take and eat. The blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Can wash away sins with nothing but the blood.
praise God from whom all blessings flow. Say amen. Amen.